So teams with new coaches can start a little bit early. That's why Freddie Kitchens was talking about the possibility of Odell coming in early. Omar Ruiz back with us. Omar, you were there the day that the trade happened in Cleveland, Ohio. A lot of people expecting a lot of great things. Are, are, is that is that a bad thing? Should the Browns be worried about that? How do they handle expectations? No, I mean, they're managing expectations, certainly. I remember speaking with John Dorsey shortly after the trade happened, and the first thing that he said is, hey, we got to temper expectations a little bit. We haven't done anything yet. It's easy to win in March, a lot more difficult to do so in the fall. But we've heard a lot of love and support surrounding Odell Beckham Jr. Whenever he shows up, they're going to start loving him up and getting him acclimated to Cleveland. And Freddie Kitchens saying they're not so much focused on the playbook right away or indoctrinating him into the system. It's really about getting to know the player, learning what makes him tick, and finding what motivations he has to make him the best he can be. And let me tell you a story about Freddie Kitchens. If you noticed, when he was introduced uh, during his press conference as the new head coach of the Cleveland Browns, his family wasn't there. That was because his wife and two daughters had plans that they had made previously with an equestrian event that his daughters are involved with. And Freddie said, go and do the event that you had planned. It's because he didn't want their identities to be tied to Freddie's career. He wants them to be their own people and do the things that they enjoy doing and commit to their plan. So it's something that Freddie Kitchens, we talked about the love and support he wants to give to his players. It's how he lives his own life. At the personal level, it's what he brings to the team. And he said many times, the playbook that he used in the second half of the season with the Browns when they had so much success was similar to the ones that they were using in the first half. But being able to connect with his players and finding those motivational sources is what helped them turn that uh, program around. It's something they continue to build on in 2019. And as John Dorsey and the rest of that personnel staff have improved the talent on that roster, Kitchens will continue to find a way to connect with those players and, and look for a big year in 2019. And we had a little insight into the way he wants to connect with him. And that answer to that question about Odell showing up says, no, I don't want to force or try to coerce him in, into coming early. I understand he might have had previous plans, perhaps uh, involving equestrian yeah. events as well. <laughs> like well, under, understanding that, yeah, you know, their yeah. lives are, are thrown upside down. And Patrick even, even used, if we got different jobs in different cities, there'd be mixed emotions uh, <laughs> relocating our families and people that, that love us. Uh, in moving to a different town. So he understands, you know, whatever time Odell needs before they get there. But when he does, they'll, they'll start getting him uh, in right away, and, and they look forward to seeing what he can do.